Refractive errors in children is one of the most underdiagnosed problems that we see today. Very often we have conducted various screening camps in schools and other places where a simple vision test at a distance of 6 meters from a vision chart where we individually examine one eye at a time and ask the child to read from the board can help in early detection of refractive errors and correct and timely referral to the eye hospital for the correction by using spectacles. Various types of refractive errors do occur out of which myopia is the most common type of refractive error. In myopia the child is short sighted and however cannot see distant objects at a distance more than 6 meters. In the initial stages if the child is sitting in the school on the first or the second bench myopia may go undiagnosed but however the teacher can often notice the child if he's sitting on the fifth or the sixth bench not unable to see things written on the board or unable to take down notes while classes are going on. Myopia can be progressive in nature and has to be detected in time for prompt correction. The second most disorder is also called as astigmatism. In astigmatism, it is the blur of the image which is mainly responsible for the child unable to see the letters clearly and this often results in making simple mistakes between letters which are very similar. For example, the letter M and the letter N may be cross written, the letter L and the letter T may be mistaken for another. These common mistakes may often go as an inadequate attention span of the child who may make common mistakes while taking down notes. However, on a vision test, which is a simple test which can be done in the school, these disorders can be easily identified and referred to the main hospital. At the main hospital, a child undergoes a series of tests including an initial examination, a vision test, a refraction test. In all children, a dilated examination is mandatory before we decide whether spectacles are required. After this, a subsequent test called as a post-mediatic trial where we actually assess the visual improvement of the child and the requirement for glasses. Correcting myopia and astigmatism at the correct age will result in good performance in school and prevent any progression of glasses. In certain children, however, the problem may occur only in one eye and the other eye may be perfectly normal. In these cases, the problem may remain undetected for a long period of time. This can result in a lazy eye or amblyopia and may often result even in squinting in the later stages of the disease. The third disorder is called as hypermetropia. Hypermetropia is called as long-sightedness. In hypermetropia, the child is unable to see close objects but distant objects seem quite clear. Most children having hypermetropia, often called as a plus power, may outgrow the problem over a series of years. But in the initial years, if the hypermetropia is on the higher side, then it also needs correction by glasses.